Resound currently has five different families of hearing aids that you can buy. In this video, I'm gonna help you figure out which one's the right choice for you. First, let's narrow down the list. Both Lynx Quattro and Key were released in 2021 and are outdated, so I wouldn't recommend buying those. Enzo Q is even older, but I'll keep it on the list for now and explain why in a minute. We can also remove Omnia since Nexia offers all the same features with newer technology. So that leaves us with Nexia and Enzo Q. Now, most of our customers buy the Nexia because it's their newest and it has something for pretty much everyone. Two and a half percent of our customers buy the Enzo Q because it is stronger than Nexia and we'll get into that in a minute. So you'll probably want a Nexia hearing aid. So let's go over the different styles available from most to least popular with our customers. So as you can see, pretty much everyone is buying the Micro RIE model because it is Resound's most discreet hearing aid that also offers Bluetooth connectivity, rechargeability, and Resound's best background noise reduction. And if you're like most people, background noise reduction, you know, hearing in noisy places, being able to pick out the sounds you wanna focus on is a top priority. We recently shipped a set of these Nexias out to one of our customers. Um, and I'm gonna just show a snippet here of what he had to say about his experience with the Micro RIE Nexia hearing aid. The hear in noise function is mind blowing. I, I don't say this lightly. And I'll put a link to the full video review in the description here below. Now, how much does this model cost? Well, that's gonna depend on the technology level you select, whether you get the nine, seven, or five. In short, the higher the number, the better the features you're gonna get. 80% of our customers who buy this model get the premium level nine technology because they want the best hearing in noise. And our price on that model is currently $45.98 for the pair, including local service. Head over to ziphearing.com if you wanna check that out. The next most popular model is the RIE61. It's a receiver in canal style hearing aid, just like the micro RIE we just talked about but this one's not rechargeable. It takes a size 312 battery that you have to change once a week or so, uh, and most people just don't wanna do that, hence the low popularity. Next is the ITC, or in the canal, with just over 2% of our customers ordering it. Why isn't it more popular? Well, very few of our customers, regardless of brand, order custom in-ear models. So this isn't just a resound thing. Uh, the custom in-ear models tend to not be as comfortable as the receiver in-ear models. They're more noticeable. Uh, and then they lack some of the features of the receiver in-ear models. And then um, when people order the in-ear models, they are way more likely to return them to us during their 45-day trial. Um, for example, we, we routinely see an over 30% return rate on the in-the-ear models versus around 10% for the receiver in-ear models. So in most cases, I wouldn't recommend in-ear models. Next up is the RIE62. It's the same hearing aid as the RIE61, uh, just with a bigger size 13 battery. And I think the reason more people don't order these is because, well, most people want rechargeable batteries, and then those that actually want disposable batteries usually opt for a smaller receiver in-ear model like the RIE61 with a size 312 battery um, as compared to the larger RIE62 model, which uses a size 13 battery. Next up, we have the two behind-the-ear style hearing aids. Now, these are typically going to be ordered by folks uh, with a more severe to profound hearing loss. Uh, they are stronger than the more discreet receiver in-ear styles. And we have no sales of these so far. Um, and we just don't sell a lot of this style um, because frankly, most people don't have um, a, a hearing loss that necessitates such a powerful hearing aid. Uh, okay, really quick, while we're talking about these Nexia BTEs, at the beginning I talked about the Enzo Q model that two or 3% of our customers order. It's appropriate to order those when the Nexia BTEs just aren't powerful enough for you. So the Enzo Q is a little bit stronger, but it is four generations old and will be phased out soon. So talk to your hearing provider about whether you really need Enzo Q or if you can go with one of the newer Nexia BTEs. Next up is the CIC for completely in canal. We don't sell a whole lot of these from any brand. Uh, they're a bit of a hassle. You know, you've got to change the battery every couple of days. They never have Bluetooth. 
Uh, they're not as comfortable as receiver in-ear hearing aids, so generally not a fan of this style of hearing aid. And lastly is the ITE. It's the largest of the in-the-ear styles, and it's a cool looking hearing aid. You know, it kind of looks more like a, a Bluetooth earpiece than a hearing aid. Uh, but I think our customers just prefer something smaller, a bit more discreet. Uh, but if you want in-ear Bluetooth hearing aids, this is definitely one of the better options on the market. So maybe don't rule it out. Now, all of these styles except the CIC style have what's called Bluetooth LE audio. Not a lot of hearing aids have this right now, and it's a great reason to buy Resound hearing aids. This latest version of Bluetooth uh, offers better audio quality, battery life, and Aura Cast, which allows for audio broadcasting to multiple devices simultaneously. So for example, imagine um, if you have Nexia hearing aids with this Bluetooth LE audio, and you're like at a restaurant watching a, watching a TV, watching like a sports game or something, the audio from that TV can go directly to um, your Nexia hearing aids. And there's a lot of other use cases. The caveat here uh, is right now, I don't think there are any devices like TVs out there that actually support AuraCast just yet. So you can't yet take advantage of those features. But by the end of this year and into 2025, you'll start to see more devices like TVs have Bluetooth LE audio and AuraCast. Okay, that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll respond within just a few hours. And of course, feel free to call us here. We're happy to answer your questions without a sales pitch. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.